Hi, I'm Peter Rees, author of The Other Anzacs, published by Alan and Unwin in 2008. I'd like to tell you a little about this story of extraordinary courage and compassion involving a group of Australian and New Zealand nurses whose contribution to the Anzac effort in the Great War has been barely recognised in our history. Yet these women broke new ground in so many ways. They dealt with appalling wounds that the Anzacs suffered at Gallipoli and in France. On the Western Front, they would often continue working while bombs fell around them. I shall never forget it, the expressions on those dear boys' faces as they came pouring in with their frightened, anxious, haunted look, combined with the suffering of fear, pain and shock. As war often does, the Great War pushed the boundaries of nursing. The Anzac nurses were practising medicine for which they were totally unprepared. My grandfather and his brother were Anzacs who went to Gallipoli and the Western Front. Looking at their service records, they seemed to be in and out of hospital, and I always wondered about the medical and nursing treatment available to diggers like them in those days. That was one of my interests in writing this book, but I also wanted to look at the impact of the war on these women as individuals. The other Anzacs tells many truly poignant stories of love and loss. These are very human stories from a different era, when women had not long begun their quest for equality and won the vote. They were on the front line of social change as well as war, and the hurdles they had to overcome and the price they paid, personally and professionally, make them a unique group in Anzac history. One loses sight of all the honour and glory in work such as we are dealing with. We have naught but the horrors, the primary results of the war. Nothing will induce any of our staff to tell of the horrors they have seen and dealt with, and no one who has not seen it in its awful reality could imagine a portion of this saddest part of the war. The fighting men push on and leave such sights behind. In threading these stories together into a narrative, I've largely followed the fortunes of particular nurses using their diaries and letters, in some cases for the duration of the war. Many of these women became avid photographers and have also included photos that they took and which had never been published before. The four years of the war led to unforgettable experiences for these women. It changed their lives dramatically and changed the way they saw the world. Yet on their return, they were treated poorly. In Australia, some were denied the war gratuity, while in New Zealand, nurses faced discrimination for help such as housing loans. It was soon clear that while the diggers knew better, to officialdom, the nurses remained invisible from the emerging Anzac legend. This is an important story that has never been given due justice. I hope you enjoy reading The Other Anzacs.